What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And today we got some more information about Red Dead Redemption 2 coming to PC. They did reveal the minimum and, you know, kind of required or recommended requirements for PC. This I will list all of this down in the description below if you'd like to read over the requirements for PC. But mainly I want to talk today about all of the stuff that's going to be added to PC that's going to be new to the game. The first thing is there are going to be three new Bounty Hunter missions. So there's going to be three Bounty Hunter missions and two gang hideouts. Uh, the two gang hideouts will be in Gap Tooth Ridge and Solomon's Folly. So those are some new things that you can do within the game on Red Dead Redemption 2 on PC. Also a new mission to the ends of the earth will also be added. Uh, two new treasure maps, Landmarks of Riches and the Elemental Trail. Of course it says these uh, maps will reward you with gold bars and other rewards. New weapons for story mode. So in the story mode, you can get the M1899 uh, pistol, the Evans repeater, the high roller revolver, and the Lamat revolver. Of course, on console, we got the Lamat revolver several months back in an update, but it has never been added on console to the story mode. And a lot of people are wanting it added to the story. It looks like the PC version of the game is going to be getting this uh, weapon added into the story mode. Also, some new horses, uh, two new Arabian horses, a new Appaloosa, a new Andalusian, uh, Andalusian uh, also a, three new wild horse variants. Uh, one is, of course, a, a Morgan, a Kentucky Saddler, and a Palomino, Tennessee Walker. Also, five new trinkets to collect. The uh, Hawk Talon, which permanently decreases stamina bar drain speed for 30 seconds when drawing a bow. Cat Eye, which permanently increases the length of fortifying toxins, uh, toxin effects by 20%. Uh, the Shark Tooth permanently increases horse bonding experience bonus by 10%. The Turtle Shell, which permanently increases health bar refill speed by 10%. And the Crow's Beak, which permanently increases looted ammo by 10%. Of course, Red Dead Redemption 2 is coming out on November the 5th. You can go ahead and pre-order it right now. I think the pre-orders did go live today. Uh, but I do find this kind of interesting that they're getting a good bit of stuff into the single player uh, kind of extra that we do not have on console. Now, hopefully some of this stuff will come to console. Uh, a lot of people have talked about the bounty hunting missions being added, you know, in solo player or solo kind of story. So people can play those bounty missions solo. They don't have to play Red Dead Online. A lot of people, like I said, it was, was wanting the Lamat Revolver added to the game in story mission. And it has not been added to story yet. I know there's a lot of people out there that still play the story. There's a lot of people out there that do not play Red Dead Online. So I think all of these additions to the story mode in PC is a really neat thing. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be coming to console. I would assume it would be. But at the same time, this may be some kind of, or, or some kind of form of, of extra content that they're putting in just for PC to get people to go out and buy the game on PC. So there's no real mention if any of this stuff is going to be coming to console or not. Hopefully it will, but like I said, if it's not, I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised for Rockstar to say this is kind of a, a PC exclusive thing just to get people to go out and buy the game. I'm sure they're trying to get a lot of players that have a PC and a console to go out and buy the game also on PC, even if they do own it on console. And I'm sure there's a lot of players out there that will do that because the game's going to look amazing if you have the recommended you know, specs to play it. Even if you have the minimum specs to play it, it's still going to look really good. And I kind of have a feeling that the online may perform better. I'm not 100% sure on that yet, but the online may perform a little bit better on, on PC. They may be able to do some things that will allow the online mode just to perform better overall. So we'll kind of have to wait and see. But leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts kind of about the whole situation. I know there's going to be some people out there that are upset that do, do not have the option to play it on PC. That feel like consoles should be getting this stuff too. And I can understand that. We'll just kind of have to wait and see if this stuff will be added to console later on or not. Anyway, guys, like I said, this is linked down in the description below if you want to read over the minimum. And, of course, you know, the recommended requirements for your PC. And also if you'd like to read over some of these things that are coming to the game. Of course, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.